We have a, an ever-increasing and ageing population and that creates many problems for our existence on the planet. For example, there are issues with climate change, there are issues with the depletion of finite resources, uh, affordable health care and food security. All these can be addressed uh, using methodologies and, and technological developments that are coming out of industrial biotechnology. What industrial biotechnology does is to use existing resources, uh, microbial sources, plant sources, uh, algae, marine life, and really trying to get them to direct the synthesis of, of, of everyday products, which might be chemicals or materials or indeed produce energy for other processes. So Manchester Institute of Biotechnology is really the engine room for driving quite a lot of the industrial biotechnology that work here at Manchester, but also nationally and internationally. Industrial biotechnology is potentially disruptive. We have a finite uh, oil reserve uh, and a finite gas reserve that is basically the bedrock of our current manufacturing processes. In however many years that uh, resource will disappear and we therefore need to have new technologies and new approaches for making the everyday chemicals and materials and have a greener uh, bioeconomy uh, based on industrial biotechnology. Manchester is the birthplace uh, of the Industrial Revolution and at an early stage the university recognised that in transitioning to a bio-industrial revolution what we had to do was to uh, bring together teams of researchers working across disciplines in a common uh, research space. I think Manchester is a unique place to push forward on the, on the biotech agenda. We're now celebrating our 10 year anniversary and there have been notable successes uh, in terms of making bio-based approaches uh, for new drugs, new chemicals, new materials that have come out in that 10 year period.